Hello everyone, welcome to tech to boom I am Fahad and in this video I am going to do the gaming review of the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4. And this variant is of 64 GB internal memory and of with 4 GB RAM. In order to watch the unboxing review of this phone, you can check out the links in the description in the show notes below. And I'll be updating the show notes below with the link of the in-depth camera review of this phone. So you can check out the show notes anytime in between the video. So well, let's play some games with it and let's check out its performance that how does it perform with the games. I'll be playing four games, Dead Trigger 2, Asphalt Air, Nova 3 and Modern Combat 5. So I will be checking its performance with these four games. So let's first play Dead Trigger 2. I will be slowing down the audio of the game because many times it happens copyright strikes comes in the game. So currently the graphic details as you can see of this game is on low. So now first I will play it on medium then in the last I will play it on high. Now first play it on medium apply the settings. Okay, so now medium graphic settings have been applied. Now let's get to the gameplay. Let's do this. So the movements on the medium settings are very smooth. The graphics quality is nice. This phone is having a full HD 1080p display. Okay, I have to go there. So up till the game is running very smoothly on the medium settings. Now let me switch it to the higher graphic settings to the highest one. High. Okay, now I applied the highest settings. Now let's play the game. Now I'm on the highest settings of this game. As the speaker grills are on this side, so sometimes it happens that the sounds get blocked due to our hands. So on the highest settings, the game is also playing very well. There are no lags. Sometimes there are very little frame skippings are there that I can <coughs> observe, but there are very little frame skippings, not very high. 
and overall the gameplay is good very smooth so now let's check out the another game okay now i'll be playing the asphalt 8 and let me show you this settings uh, you can see it is on high so i'll be directly playing this game on the highest settings let me do let me drop down the music due to the copyright protection okay here's the music dropping it down to 40 percent around So currently I am playing on the highest graphic settings. I got wrecked. So overall the game is playing very smoothly on the highest settings. Sorry as I am looking through the camera's display by which I am recording so I am unable to play very properly. So I am unable to play properly. The, the gaming performance is very smooth you can see overall the gaming is very smooth on the highest settings of the asphalt 8 So overall this game is also playing very well, very smoothly. Now let's check out another game. This one is Nova 3. and it doesn't have any such kind of settings like low or high it is only having the normal settings and this game is also high graphics demanding game
Oh, I badly hurt. Oh, I'm down. Man down, man down. So this game is also very smoothly playing. You can see the movement in the game are very smooth. There are not any kind of lags, no frame skippings in this game. Frames could be sometimes we can found skipping because this one is having the Snapdragon 625 processor. So we can expect a little bit frame skipping but the gameplay is very smooth. As in the previous note 3, the fra it was having the Snapdragon 650 processor, so that was uh, more proper. So that was a more powerful processor than the 625. But this processor is more power efficient than the 650. Let me change the game. This gun is better in this game. I mean, you can say the best gun of this game. Is the aiming on this gun is very nice. Hiding. So overall the gameplay of this game is also very smooth. Now let's switch to another game. The last one. And this one is Modern Combat 5. It is an FPS game with high graphics demand. It is an FPS game with very high graphics demand. Rinnoji Temple. And you can see the game is also loading very quickly. Shit. I wasn't able to scroll properly on those arrows. Wait here. Now I've done. Take it and give me this card. Okay, so the gameplay of this game is also very smooth. The such kind of games FPS are more enjoyable with the joysticks. So as you can see this game is also playing very smoothly.
Oh, I am down. So the overall gameplay in this phone is very nice. Let me zoom out. And this phone, I can recommend it for gaming. You can surely go for it. And it will handle the games as it handles just right now. Games very nicely. So if you are going with this phone for game purpose, then surely you can go for it. You can expect some frame skippings in this phone, but overall the gaming performance this phone is decent. So well guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, just press the thumbs up button. And if you didn't like it, then nothing. Do not forget to subscribe my channel as I used to bring such tech videos, reviews, unboxings and many more on my channel. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video.